2019 Ford Edge Car Review. An inevitable response to Ford's relocate to jettison most passenger cars from the future lineup is usually that the Ford Performance subbrand should instead start modifying the remainder range of crossovers, SUVs, and pickups. The 2019 Ford Edge may be the first crossover to use the street badge that formerly denoted a number of the sportiest compact and subcompact cars Ford ever offered in America. The Good Points of 2019 Ford Edge Athletic without getting overly aggressive, cushy ride, affordable. The Bad Points of 2019 Ford Edge Minimal Fun Factor Bland engine note, dated GUI. In essence, the Edge Street is often a mildly hotter version with the Edge Sport model which it replaces. Revised software lets its EcoBoost Twin Turbo 2.7 liter V6 produce 335 horsepower and 380 lbft of torque, gains of 20 horses and 30 lbft, while a brand new 8 speed automatic replaces the earlier 6 speed unit. All other edges now use 250 horsepower turbo 2.0 liter inland 4. The street's standard all-wheel drive system can differ its torque split as traction demands, looked after can automatically disconnect drive on the rear for improved fuel efficiency, the street CPA estimates of 19 miles per gallon city and 26 highway are generally 2 miles per gallon better than the earlier edge sports. Ford's report that the street can run from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 6 seconds seems credible, or even conservative, considering the fact that a 2015 Edge Sport we tested been able to do so in 5.6. That's adequately quick for the Titan Plus SUV that moves on waves of easy going torque, the V6S horsepower peaks at only 5,500 revolutions per minute plus the transmission upshifts without treatment shortly thereafter, even though using the wheel-mounted shift paddles for manual selection. The Edge Street's lazy power band is short on spunk yet befits its mainstream mission. The new transmission shifts smoothly and unobtrusively in the normal D mode. Pressing the S button within the consola-mounted shift dial calls up more aggressive shift mapping that holds gears longer. Nevertheless the gearbox never feels hustled rolling around in its ratio swaps. Sport mode also adds an electronic tachometer for the instrument cluster, enlivens the throttle response, and pipes additional engine noise in the cabin throughout the stereo speakers, which receives a low, flat-pitched drone after a while. To go above the dynamics from the competent, if less engaging base edge, the Edge Street gets suspension upgrades including spring rates which are increased by 12% right in front and 20% at the rear versus the Sport, using a 60% increase in roll stiffness via beefier and tier roll bars. The Street carries above the Edge's standard strut front suspension but adds monotub dampers on the rear multi-link setup instead of twin tube units. Body motions were nicely controlled during our mountain road and autocross antics, with brake based torque vectoring aiding the street's agility. There's no rear torque vectoring. Ride quality is commendably smooth, even for the optional 21 inch wheels. 20s are standard. While Ford Performance has tuned the street's steering effort slightly on the heavy side, the action, in all fairness, quick and enriched with many feedback. The Edge Street is not a leash-tugging terrier such as effervescent Fiesta Street, however it will play along if you are the urge. To that end, you'll find additional coolers to the transmission plus the all-wheel drive system's power takeoff unit, as well as optional $2,695 Street Performance Brake Package, which adds upgraded 13.6-inch front brake rotors the street's 12.4-inch rear discs carry over red painted calipers with performance brake pads, and 21-inch wheels wrapped with Pirelli P0 summer tires sized 26540R21 versus the stock 24550R20 all Z's in rubber. 
the street's stability control system may be partially defeated and gains an even more lenient escape sport setting, though the electronic nannies will still help before any power slides occur. For the rather modest entry cost of $43,350, additional revisions are tied to new back and front bumpers, a smattering of street badges in and out, and plush 10-way power-adjustable front sport seats with supportive side bolsters and micro suede inserts. Standard features are numerous, including fold lighting, blind spot monitoring, landkeeping assist, plus a Bang & Olufsen premium head unit. Pricing can top $50,000 considering the extras, like Ford's Co-Pilot 360 Assist plus suite of active safety systems navigation, adaptive cruise control with lane centering and stop and go capability, and Ford's evasive steering assist, even though the street's mostly untouched instrument panel and center stack will be rather old-fashioned close to more modern big screen setups. The Edge Street stands apart most for the impressive balance like a sporty yet comfortable mid-size earth that's slightly less focused athletically than premium grade performance SUVs but considerably less costly when option checking restraint is exercised. Such a suburban friendly steed may appeal towards the focused street driver who seeks an even more rational upgrade, regardless of whether it's short around the charmingly adolescent fervor we've arrived at expect from Ford Street Badge. We'll